the dreaded hall closet. So one thing that um, when I moved into this house, one thing that was a little bit lacking was closet space. Still is closet space. It's not changing. We're not like adding on an addition or anything right now. So, so this is what I have as far as a hall closet. The shelves are not very deep. Um, I would say they're only about maybe a foot and a half deep. <sighs> and it's pain. It is a pain. <laughs> is a mess and a pain right now. So I did install these shelves. These are from Amazon. They're just over the door shelves. And they've helped to double the storage space because there was a good amount of room here. So I didn't want to let this go to waste. However, right now it's just a disorganized mess. Oh, well, this is what I'm starting with. So before I show you the closet, I wanted to show you my storage benches. I bought these from Walmart. They were, I want to say $38 a piece. I think that's right. Um, and you can sit on them. They are padded. And I'm actually going to get some orange pillows to put on the top of these just to kind of tie them better into the room. They look black, but they're really a dark brown, like a chocolate brown kind of color. And in this storage bench on the left side, I have all of my sheets. And these took up a whole shelf in my hall closet, so I wanted to get those out of there so I could use the shelf for something else. So I put all of my sheets in here, and then in the one on the right, I have all of our um, bath towels, so my husband's and mine here. So um, this really helped save space. It cleared up two shelves in my hall closet. So just wanted to start off with those. Um, they're really high quality. They're not heavy at all. They came intact, just like this um, in the box. And I was a little concerned about bringing them in from the porch, but they were no problem at all. It's only about 20 some pounds each. Um, and he didn't, there was no assembly. So these were really a great find at Walmart. So check that link below if you are interested in these and let's see the hall closet. And I am finished. It took me about an hour and a half. I'm hoping this looks different. <laughs> to me, it looks different. To you, it might not, but. Ta-da! <laughs> Hopefully it looks different. Um, so I'm going to start actually from the bottom and work my way up. So down here on the bottom, I have all of my um, extra batteries in that little green case there that's from the Dollar Tree. This little tub here is all of my uh, light bulbs, extra light bulbs. And then on this side, just random extra things that I have no idea where to put them in my house. So I have an extra fan there. Um, that's from the old house. Our old house was a two-story house and the upper level got so hot. So we brought this fan with us. We haven't needed to use it yet, um, which is great. But and then just extra things on this side, um, like extra smoke detectors and that type of thing. I don't know. I don't probably won't use them ever, but that's okay. I have them. Um, here I have extra adhesive for command hooks and then just some extra little hooks in there. Also have like three hull lights, these little tiny lights. I don't know why I've accumulated so many of those. And then just extra little hooks and things. So, and then the second shelf, I have extra timers and, you know, just other random things. Just trying to group like items together. I don't know. Didn't know where else to put them in my house. And then down here, second shelf, from the bottom. This is all of my tape. We have a lot of tape. <laughs> Tons of duct tape slash, I don't know, packing tape, that type of thing. So I've grouped all those items together. And then these here are all of my tool kits. Um, that pink one there is from college. Wasn't I great going to college with a pink tool kit? Oh my. And uh, electric drill, that type of thing. So I can do extra projects like that around the house. And then we're moving up. Okay, this is my travel shelf. These are all of my different travel items that I use. We travel on a fairly regular basis, and uh, nine times out of ten we don't check a bag. We always do the carry-on method. So I've accumulated a lot of 311 compliant little containers here. And I use them all the time. And I like to keep some of them just filled so I can just grab them and go. Some of them are empty as well. But um, I like to get travel size things of um, the brands that I use. So like California Baby, we'll use that. This says bubble bath, but we'll use it as a, a shower gel or whatever. Um, Hugo, I like Hugo as a brand as well. 
let's see what else do I have here. Oh, I'm dropping them on the floor. Ooh, and I have uh, other little travel size Hugo things and that type of stuff. So those are all of my bottles slash sample size things. Um, in the middle here, I have an umbrella, my frog togs, coolie towels. I'll link these below. These are great if you're going to an amusement park. I bought these for Disney. We go to Disney in September generally, and um, it gets really, really hot and humid in Florida. All of you Floridians, you know this. Coming from Ohio, it seems really, really hot and humid. So I have two frog togs, coolie towels. I'll link these um, because they are just awesome. All you do is you wet them and you wring them out, and it, it's like a personal cooling machine. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it's awesome. We use these at Disney all the time. Love them. They're fantastic. Puzzles, you know, just random things. And then over here, same type of thing. I have my things for pills. Um, you know, I'll do a, a vlog on these eventually, but other things, wet ones. You're going to think I'm crazy because I have so many wet ones. I should buy stock, um, but they're fantastic. So anyway, all of my travel items in this middle section. And then over here on the door has nothing to do with travel at all, but that's okay. I needed some place to put them. Um, we are incense people. <laughs> I'm really not a, as big of a hippie. As, well, maybe I am. <laughs> but there we go. So we have incense and some extra little tea lights. And then this is for, also, I'm going to link this below. I need to do a blog on this. I just bought this. This is the, um, how do you say that? Alt, all transmit, all transmit, all transmit. <laughs> Uh, basically, it's an essential oil diffuser, and I just bought it off of Amazon. I love it. I will link that below, too, and you really need to do a vlog on that because I love how it makes my house smell. And actually, my students, when they come in for their music lessons, like, what is that smell? It smells so good. It's essential oils. Um, up here, we're just going up the door a little bit. This is a, um, a set of electric clippers for my husband's hair. I do a haircut for him every week or two, so that's what that is. And here, the bulk of it. So this is my shelf for extra paper products. Paper towels, toilet paper, tissues. And then I have these two bins here. These are uh, extra hand towels for the bathrooms. We have two bathrooms in this house. And um, my husband's and slash the guest bathroom is this one here. Two different color schemes. That's why I've got them separated. And my white towels for my bathroom. So there are those. Going up a shelf, I have all of my health slash beauty slash natural remedy things. Um, this bin on the left, my husband and I do detox foot baths. So this is his dishpan <laughs> for his feet. Um, and that's mine up top. If he's not using one and, and I want to, I'll use this bigger one. But And then back here, I have my Epsom salt that's in there. And I normally have baking soda in here as well, but I'm out. So I need to actually go to the store and get some. And in the middle, I have my neti pot and accessories. So neti pot here, as well as the saline solution, and then the distilled water that I use in it. So that's the center section. And then on the right, I have all of my medicines. So I have Western medicine in the back, if you can see back there, um, Nature Fusion Dayquil, dye-free allergy medicine, Tylenol PM, that type of thing. Ricola. And then I have all my homeopathics in the middle, uh, Ocelococcinum there, I've got cold calm, Sabadil, Bioplasma, <clears throat> etc. And then up front, Highlands Motion Sickness. I'm excited to use this. We're going to Europe for two weeks uh, this summer, and I'm going to be on a plane for 10, 11, 12, 13 hours. Slightly nervous about that. I'm normally one that's prone to motion sickness, so I'm going to try this. I'm hoping that it works as well as my other motion sickness remedies. I will link that video below. I did that a long time ago uh, with the natural motion sickness remedies that I use. I'm going to add this to the mix too since the plane ride is so long, so I'm going to try this. That's why it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet. And then I have Nerve Tonic and Calm Forte back there. This is my Colloidal Silver Nose Spray and my Bucus love Sambucus. I'm sorry, this is so blurry because I'm like in the dark. I don't have a light in here. Maybe that's something that I should uh, do. I do have a tap light though that I just found, so I think I might use that. Okay, and then over here I have my first aid kit and this random, I don't know why I have this, it's not even open yet, but I do, uh, face mask, I don't know, for all your face mask needs. And then I have um, more wet wipes, as I said, by stock wet ones are awesome. And across the top, this is my last shelf on the door. I have all my rags for cleaning, which leads me to my cleaning shelf. 
So I have my cleaning items grouped by room type. So this first bin here is everything for the bathroom. So anytime I'm cleaning the bathroom, I can just pull this whole bin out, take it with me, and I won't have to run back and forth like a crazy person. And then um, the middle part there, I, you know, you can see what all that stuff is. I have some dish. No, I don't. <laughs> it's not dish. <laughs> it's in a dish pan, um, but it's floor cleaner. I've got some glass cleaner, that type of thing. And my cleaning gloves. And the last thing here, bulk size of vinegar. I clean with this all the time. And then my refill bottles of Sun and Earth. Now, I don't have any financial ties to Sun and Earth, but I do want to do a quick plug for them. If you're gluten and soy free and you want to use natural cleaning products that don't have these ingredients in them, check out Sun and Earth. They are a fantastic company. They sell anything and everything cleaning related um, from soap, dish soap, hand soap, everything. Multi-purpose cleaner. Um, so I use them quite a bit. I always buy stuff in bulk from them. I always do a massive order. And I think you get free shipping on $75 or more, which is good too. Their products are really economical very well. There we go. Very well priced. And their website is sunandearth.com. I'll link that below. They're fantastic. I love them. Okay, folks. There we have it. So I have my haul closet done. So the items from the Dollar Tree, if you missed my Dollar Tree haul, um, I got this dish pan, this little guy, these two green things there, these three things there, and that one. Everything was a dollar from the Dollar Tree, so it helped to organize. I should have bought more bins. I didn't have any idea how many bins I was going to actually need, um, but I think it worked out okay. I'm not disappointed in it. This is much better than it was, and I should be able to find things, and my husband should be able to find things much easier, which is excellent. All right, guys, take care. Bye.